Hello and welcome to Race and Bar with me, Mr. Bar. Today we're going to be looking at vectors and what happens if I have more than one foot together. So here I've got vector A, which goes three along and two up. Here I've got vector B, which goes four along and three down. What happens? What's the resultant vector? What would C be? C would be this path and then this path. And how do I have one thing and then another? I add them. It's nice and simple. Add the x direction. Three plus four gives me seven. Add the y direction. Two. Add negative three gives me negative one. So ultimately, it would move seven along and one down from its starting point. Nice and easy. But what happens here? I've got vector A, another different vector. It goes four along and five up. What would two lots of that be? Well, it would be four along, then five up, and then four along, then five up again. So it would be four here and five here. Same thing, I would add them along. But you'll notice I could just double this value. So two lots of this vector A would be two lots of this x direction, which would be eight, and two lots of this five direction, which would be ten. I could write it out as two lots of 4, 5, which would then give me 8, 10. And there we go, vectors moving any which way you want.